Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It is a beautiful evening here in Houston. You can hear the cicadas going like crazy. Slight breeze. It's really humid, but it's actually not all that warm, which is nice. Yeah, it's always crazy when I turn that thing on. Um, so anyway, first, uh, just to get, I'm gonna, so the point of this video is just to give a couple updates. The, the very first thing is I bought a Hellcat transmission. So I bought a brand new um, HP90 transmission. It was actually, uh, Pites helped me out on it. He got me a deal on it. Someone had ordered it, a different shop had ordered it. They ended up not needing it. So I got it for a good price. I think the price was 5,300. I call right about 5300 5200 somewhere on that so it's a brand new hellcat transmission brand new crate never been used never been in a car like brand new from the factory so that's a very good deal and it brings me to the first dilemma that i'm running into with the transmission which is why i hadn't even ha i haven't even had them ship it anywhere yet and that is do i need to get the transmission built so i had looked at hellraiser performance prior um and I was looking at getting a built HP90 for them and that was using my HP70 as a core. Obviously they're not the same case, so it was just gonna be like a, a core that they could use for something else, not a core to be rebuilt um, per se. So anyway, now I have the dilemma of, do I want to take this brand new HP90 transmission and send it somewhere to get rebuilt stronger or do want I just wanna put it in the car as is and then just turn up the wick a little bit? So there's some pros and cons to each. Um, I don't think I don't think I'm going to break uh, a Hellcat, a stock Hellcat transmission. Um, if I put that transmission on here, I can probably turn it up to like 800 ish, 900 ish, or, or whatever I could get on this motor and this blower. So the blower is going to be the main thing keeping me from running big power. So anyway, so the point is, I'm not sure if the HP90, the stock Hell tra Hellcat transmission is going to hold enough power in the long run or if maybe I should just kind of roll the dice and hope that it just works. I'm not really sure. Um, I guess it just kind of depends on on the whole the goals for the car as a whole. My goal for the car for, was a, was supposed to be about 1000 horsepower and I think with the HP90 stock it can probably do it, but then my other thing is like the reliability aspect. So you guys tell me what what you think. Um, my goal is a thousand and I have the engine to do it. I have the fuel to do it. I just need the transmission to do it and then I'll kind of be all set. So if you think the stock HP 90 is good and I can just kind of throw it in the car because at this point, all the extra cost will be to just adapt it to the scat pack, which takes some wizardry, which Pites and um, Hellraiser performance know how to do. Um, so I'm just looking at like right around like probably a thousand to $2,000 to get it into the car just to swap it as is, you know, around that around that price. Not a, not a whole, whole bunch of money. So the transmission is bought. I mean, I already paid for it. So it's just, do I want to send it to somewhere to get built or do I want to just have it go to Pites and, and um, put it in the car? So uh, that's the dilemma. You guys tell me what you think. Yeah, this has just been like racking my brain and I'm not really sure what to do. So definitely comments down below. I need some suggestions because uh, I'm not sure what to do. So the other updates I got is the truck here. So for anyone who follows me on Instagram will know I just went on a crazy road trip to California. 
I drove this truck about 4,000 miles. And um, the other thing is, it obviously looks a little bit different than the last time you guys saw it. I got this shell, the ARE MX series. And this is my, my doomsday prep truck. Just keep that in mind. So an ARE MX service, series cap, and you can see it's really, really tall. Um, I'll show it a little bit more. This is just a, a quick thing, just because I did so much on this without really like making a video on it. I hate that. Um, anyway, then I put these guys on here, which were really cheap, and I did kind of a video on that. I'll, I'll show you guys that later. And the other thing, which I really can't show right now, but I put a battery bank with an inverter and some other wizardry in here that um, I'll make a video on in the future because it's a little bit too complicated and I don't want to make this video about this thing because everybody's tired of hearing about the Titan. I just, um, I've been doing like it's summer and I've been doing family stuff so that's why like the Titan's been at play and I've been having to kind of get it ready for our road trips. And I did have it ready for the road trip and it performed flawlessly. Drove this big truck 4,000 miles across the country and Everything was there okay. I think it probably, I gotta tally out the totals, but I think it was around like 16 or 17 miles per gallon, I wanna say, somewhere in that neighborhood. And that's of course gonna be mostly highway with some idling and stuff, so. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about the transmission. What should we do with the old Scatty here? Do I um, put a built trans in it and just kinda go all out? Um, the other thing, you know, the thing to keep in mind is the car's never going to have a cage in it. I'm, I'm not going to put a cage in it. It's just not going to get a cage. So, like, there's a point where the, the power level, there's, like, there's no, no point of making more power unless I'm going to, I don't know, unless I just like doing roll races or something like that. Like, part of what I like is being able to go fast with just, like, these tires and stuff. And um, just, like, a street setup and have it go fast. Heavy with just a ton of power, and I like that idea. So, that's kind of where the 1,000 came from, but... I obviously could turn it up a little bit beyond that if I really wanted to. I just need the right blower to do it, and that's another story. So, anyway, comments down below. This video was a little bit disjointed because I'm trying to make decisions and I'm kind of hitting some blocks, so I need some some help. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Peace. Just a